everyone, Jennifer here. In today's video, I am going to be going over my postpartum plan for the 10 item wardrobe. I am going to have this baby any day now. I really feel like I am, <laughs> even though I'm not due till the end of September. And it's good with the 10 item wardrobe to be prepared. Uh, we are entering into a new season. So this is actually a perfect timing for me to have a baby because I'm going to be going through my wardrobe anyway. And, um, you know, just deciding where I'll be going for fall winter of 2018-2019. So before we begin, I'm going to show you my baby bump because I, I love doing that. <laughs> so. so as you can see, my belly is quite large. I'm very uncomfortable at this stage. It's the end. I'm almost there. <laughs> and so, um, yes. I am ready now. You know, all pregnant women know at the end, you just want to have the baby as soon as it's safe to have the baby and, you know, just move on with life. So quickly today, I just wanted to share my thoughts with you. And I wanted to share a few of the pieces that I purchased for the nursing uh, postpartum phase that I'm going to be going into. The pieces that I purchased are not, uh, you know, postpartum specific. So I'm going to show them to you and I think they will be of interest to many people. Okay, but before we do that, I went through through my 10 item wardrobe from last year, fall, winter uh, 2017, I guess it was. And I went through and I thought, okay, what do I have that is going to work with uh, nursing? Because I plan to breastfeed my child. I need clothes that I can easily uh, nurse in. So I actually have two pieces, which you will recall. Do you remember this really pretty, um, it has a deep V neck. I usually wear my, um, camisole underneath, which I can link below. I love those things. The Demi camisole. Actually, I'm wearing it right now, this. Um, and I have it in different colors. So this dress is perfect for breastfeeding because it's just, you know, it's just easy to pull aside. And you will recall this. I hope you can see it in the light from my 10 item wardrobe from last year. So I'm definitely going to be wearing this again. This will be very easy to nurse the baby in. This dress, um, this was the Garnet Hill dress and I've had this for a few seasons now and I think I said I was going to get rid of it last time. I, I couldn't remember, I think I was on the fence about it, but I'm really glad that I didn't or hadn't yet because this is perfect for breastfeeding and I think this will still fit. If I put it on and it looks drapey and, and you know, kind of tattered because I think that's why I was going to get rid of it in the first place. Um, then I probably won't add it. But I saw this and I thought this is perfect for nursing. So I'm glad that I kept this and uh, this will probably return for my 10 item wardrobe postpartum. Okay, you will remember these lace t-shirts um, from Loft and I've had them for years and I would have worn them in my spring summer wardrobe but I was pregnant and they didn't fit my belly. So um, I actually think these will work well for nursing because I can wear a nursing camisole underneath and this on top. So if I need to, you know, nurse, that would still be easy. But I love these and they still look good. So I'm going to bring these back um, for my fall winter 10 item wardrobe. And it's funny because I feel like you could wear these year round. It just depends on how you style them. But it, lace is just so pretty and you can wear this with jeans or a jean skirt. So I do plan to do that. So everybody knows that after you have a baby, your wardrobe is transitional. I'm going to be losing weight. Uh, hopefully. <laughs> so I'm not going to fit back into my jeans immediately right after I give birth. I actually don't have any jeans to fit back into, so I need to get a new pair of jeans ultimately when I get down to my normal weight. But in the meantime, I plan to just wear the maternity jeans that I have, and I showed these in my maternity 10 item wardrobe for spring summer. Now I've had to stop wearing these during the pregnancy because my belly is so large that the band, it, it doesn't fit anymore, it constricts it. So I haven't been able to wear jeans at all, but I know that after I have the baby, I will be able to wear these. And I will just wear these until I can fit into a regular pair of jeans. And then I will buy a nice high quality pair. So I'm sure I'll take you shopping with me uh, when I do that. Also from my maternity 10 item wardrobe is this black V-neck dress. And I don't really wear this when I shoot videos because it's black and it's, you know, it's dark and everything. But I wear this dress a lot and I really like it. It has a nice V-neck um, for nursing. So I will probably wear this, you know, a lot when I'm, uh, when I'm in my fall, winter 10 item wardrobe. And again, it's how you style it because yes, it's dark. Um, and I know I have a lot of dark colors, but I do like that for 
uh, fall winter. So I can style this with different sweaters or boots and scarves and, and jewelry and that type of thing. So that will definitely return. Okay, let's talk about the new pieces because I do have some new pieces that I'm going to be incorporating into my 10 item wardrobe. And one of them, or two of them I should say, comes courtesy of a wonderful reader of mine and I love my readers, my viewers, because you just give me the best suggestions. I mean, I would never have known about burgundy mascara if it weren't for you. So one of my lovely readers told me that she just had a baby and she found some dresses that are not maternity or nursing dresses, but that they really worked well for her in the nursing phase and that they looked presentable and good. And she told me they're on sale, Jennifer. So <laughs> I really appreciate her telling me that. There's these two dresses here and as you can see, they are v-necks and I can tell why these would be nursing friendly because there's just, it's, you know, it's easy access right there. And so of course you would wear your bra and also I wear um, the demi camisole and I put that underneath. And so um, this is just perfect and I love both of these. These are the colors that I got them in and I know I have a lot of blue. I do know I have a lot of blue. I like blue, <laughs> although I should get a bit more green, more jewel tones, but I did like both of these and they are going to work for the California fall winter because it never gets that cold here. So I think the tag is on here. The original price was $59.95 and I got them each for I think $23. It was such a good bargain. I will try to find them and link them below. I think they're probably going to be on sale now because it's the end of the summer. So if you're interested in them, anybody could wear these. These are not maternity or uh, nursing specific dresses, but my reader told me that they really worked for her in the maternity, uh, in the postpartum phase. Now, I, I just bought them in my regular size, which is small, and I thought, uh oh, how am I going to know if they fit? Because I don't know, but I actually can wear them right now if I wanted to because they are stretchy and even with my large belly, they fit. So I know they're going to fit after I have the baby. So, um, you know, just buy them in your regular size and because they're stretchy, they're going to work. So these will be good. I will do a fashion show and all that when I come back to the blog after I have a baby. Okay. I ordered two specific nursing tops from zoo lily because they have a wonderful uh, maternity and nursing selection and just really affordable prices again i don't want to spend you know a hundred dollars on a on a nursing blouse so i ordered these two and i know from experience from my past um, you know children that i've had that this type of top works really well with nursing and so these tops i believe they were um, 12 or 14 dollars each and I love them because they have a high collar, they're easily accessible, and they drape, they just fit really well. And so um, both of these are going to be in my uh, fall winter wardrobe and they will work really well for nursing. I'll be able to wear these with jeans. I hope to fit into my, um, my one denim skirt eventually. <laughs> I'll be able to wear these with that. But in the meantime, I do also plan to wear the maternity foldover skirt that I have which actually isn't a maternity skirt. It's on Amazon, I'll link it below. It's just a regular skirt, but I've been wearing it uh, while I've been pregnant. But I can just wear that skirt in transition until I finally fit back into my normal clothes. So I do plan to wear that. And that is the plan so far. I know I have a lot of blues and deep uh, blue colors, but I think that, you know, it's beautiful. And I do think that the clothes uh, really go well together. And combined with my accessories and my my wrap sweaters and my scarves, I think this is going to be a great wardrobe. And again, it was budget and affordable because we all know I'm on a budget. <laughs> that is the plan. Now, before I leave, I just wanted to talk to you about sleepwear. So I have a few um, maternity nursing uh, sleepwear items that I, you know, I've showed you in the past. But I just purchased these from Amazon because I need something from the hospital. So they look like slips. They come in a two pack and you have your choice of colors and I chose blue and black because I have um, blue and black you know, robes. But anyway, these are nursing camisoles and they are really neat because they have a built-in bra and you can just take out uh, the padding in the bra to wash it. And then they snap right here, making for easy access when you're nursing, but they are presentable and they just look like um, a really nice slip and they're really comfortable. 
I got them because they had such good reviews on Amazon for nursing um, sleepwear and they're really affordable. So I just loved, love these and I can actually wear them now. I've tried them and they fit over my belly. But I'm going to be packing these in my hospital bag because they're nice and presentable. I like that there's a built-in bra and um, that they're easy to nurse in. So I will definitely leave that linked below as well. But, but I just wanted to talk about the plan for uh, you know, sleepwear because you are in your sleepwear a lot after you have a baby and sometimes you don't change out of your pajamas in the morning like you normally do. So it's nice that these are presentable and I actually find I need that support after I have a child. So I would um, have to wear a nursing bra and then my pajamas and it was too much. It was like too much clothing. So I love that this is built in. So that is it. That is my plan for my postpartum 10 item wardrobe. I'm so excited to have this baby. I'm so excited to just enter this new phase in life and you know, to apply all of the things that I talk about to still try to look presentable. The wonderful thing about the 10 item wardrobe is that it just takes out all the guesswork. This will be hanging in my closet and when I wake up in the morning and I have to get dressed, I will pick something, it will work. I will be able to nurse in it. I will look presentable. And it's it's just such a help. It really is. So if you are new to the 10 item wardrobe, I have so many resources on it. I did a TEDx talk that has seen over 1.2 million views. Uh, and I can link that below. I write about it in my Madame Chic books. I have many free YouTube videos for you to watch showing my 10 item wardrobes from the past, in which case you will recognize many of these pieces. And I also have an e-course on the 10 item wardrobe that's really affordable. So I will link everything below, but I would love to know your plan for the 10 item wardrobe for fall winter because it's coming up and it's time to start planning. Thank you so much for joining me today on The Daily Connoisseur and I will see you soon. Bye.